Okay, hello, hi. This is Rani Ahmed with you. This is lesson 20 in how to program using uh, Haskell programming language. And this lesson, we're going to talk more about how to use uh, GSTI uh, more effectively. Now, um, I have to use the book. Uh, I know it's not a uh, to you, it's not a matter of just reading the book. I want to just show you things uh, because the book is, uh, however it, uh, it's written, it's still silent without me showing things to you if, uh, interactively, okay? So, first of all, uh, the GSI, if I open it, has a name completion, okay? So, for example, I can, uh, if I, for example, say uh, a student equals of x equals uh, x plus 1, okay? This is a function. Now, if I want to access a student quickly, I can just type a number of characters of the word a student and press the letter tab or the key tab and uh, it will uh, complete that word for me. So here, uh, a, see, and I press that. Just again, here the number of uh, presses that I've done. Okay, I haven't done much. So I put three and it gives me four. So this is uh, name completion. This is all available in uh, GSCI, wherever you go in GSCI. Now, there are some commands that are uh, related to uh, GSCI, okay? For example, here, if you press uh, the colon, there are, uh, those are GSCI commands, okay? They are not uh, Haskell coding uh, lines, okay? So, if I press one single tab, you'll get uh, all uh, of this as uh, the set of available commands on Haskell uh, GSTI. Okay. So let's start with um, one here, which is help. Will give you all uh, available commands, and we've seen some. Now I've got load. Load is just used to see it a lot, which is uh, to load a file the uh, dot c and i press tab it goes to the operating system and finds the files that has to uh, load them okay now i know the file is uh, already corrupt okay uh, it's not uh, well written but just understand that it's working and it's loading the file and once you load it uh, the a student won't be available so if you try to use the a student if you press tab you hear me okay, ringing my uh, laptop so uh, that in a way that means that uh, there's nothing here to complete and you see it's not completing the uh, using the tab key okay so i'll have to define it back again now if i want to uh, like reload the file but uh, you know after i changed uh, something in the code to see if things have has been fixed okay i don't have to use the uh, the load line i can use the reload okay that will reload it now also i have to tell you that uh, the lines here i mean the commands here you don't have to type them all you can just type one one letter or, or two of the command and it will know that this is the command that you want okay now there's another command here set of commands okay you've got the type the type will give you the type of the function Let's go back. We can use the uh, the up arrow key and define a student. Now, if I want to see the uh, definition of a student, okay, it will give me the type. So it will be number a, okay, as a given. A gives me a, which means that I input the letter a. I mean uh, the uh, number a. Then it gives me another value, okay, uh, of uh, type number, which is any number, okay. So uh, we've got also the uh, module. Uh, uh, command this will load for me uh, uh, like a library of uh, 
Haskell functions, okay, like a set of Haskell functions already defined for us. Uh, we don't have to uh, program them ourselves, okay. So we can, for example, use m for module and data.list, okay. This is similar uh, like what we saw in uh, the previous lessons, uh, the word import, okay. We'll come to, uh, to them later in the, uh, another lesson. Okay, in uh, full detail, how to make our own uh, library, okay? So, if I put like this, you see that that has been uh, dot .list uh, is the loaded, okay? And I can then use some of the functions, press tab, like fold L or map has so many uh, variants, okay? Now, uh, there's also browse uh, data dot list. So if I use, for example, uh, B for browse and uh, data dot list, okay. See, this is all what, and there's more on to the top, okay. Yeah, this is a set of uh, set of Haskell uh, functions that can. Uh, that are provided by data.list and uh, each function uh, will give its uh, signature and the signature means its name and uh, what are the inputs and you know the function should give uh, finally just one last uh, single input okay this one okay uh, for example here for the zip width okay the c is the output of this function Okay, so finally you'll get a, a list uh, here, okay, with respect to the width. So just understand this is how uh, you browse uh, the uh, library that uh, you have, okay. Now, if I, what if I want to uh, time uh, my uh, function, just to know how long it uh, will take. So I can just do this, type set okay and plus s that's all now whatever you do okay like for example a student 15 every time you run a function or any definition it will tell you the time that it took okay just to run maybe someday we'll go into databases you have like uh, maybe thousands of uh, rows you want to uh, find how long they, it will take just to uh, read them up, okay, and display them. Now, uh, another thing is, what if I want to uh, write things that contains do, and we know when we want to use do, it uh, uh, uses uh, a number of lines, okay, because I want to print this and this and that and that, okay, so let's say let x equals do uh, put i okay and hello okay now if i print uh, or type uh, enter okay it will not give me the chance to go uh, to a line where i can proceed in the do uh, section of the code okay so, uh, what we do is, we use the colon, then we use uh, a left curly brace, then press enter C, the, the greater than sign has, be, has changed into a pipe, okay? So this means you can continue. So I can do this, okay? And see, I can proceed with, I, of course, I have to fix the code, just to say, put a uh, string line, and type completion works here. Hello uh, world. Okay, I can do this. Nobody can tell me no. Okay, and I can, for example, add another one uh, here. Okay, and then I close it with the right uh, curly brace and the column, and that's all. So if I type X, see I get the three words: hello world and here. Cool. So. See if there's anything missing. Okay. That's all I think. Yes. 
So next time we'll go into intermediate Haskell uh, and we'll go uh, into more topics. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and uh, click the likes, click uh, ads and tell everybody about the, the existence of such videos. Okay, and such series. Thanks for watching.